and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Okay. UI borders! Yeah, yeah, it's like, when it comes to, like, the transitions and such, I, uh, I intentionally, you know, avoided, like, editing those out, because it would look really weird to, like, okay, widen out the screen during the transitions, only to put it back in its original resolution or whatever, like, once we, um, got no, back. No, I, I got you, that, that's just the fault, that's not your fault, that's the HD collection's fault. Yeah, it's it's like it's like props it's, to it's, Sensor. It's really not an issue. It just bothers me because I'm a fu I'm fucking OCD. Right. Oh no, no. It, I mean, so trust me. It's like as someone who played like um Sly Two, Band of Thieves, like God knows how many times on the original PlayStation Two. I I totally understand. It it bothers the it bothers the living shit out of me as well. It it, it, it is it is even more offensive in that game. Like it's not as bad here. Just. Ugh. Right, but but yeah, it's like in some cases I did I did like avoid it, you know, uh, uh, editing out like on um, the weird borders or whatever, especially with the transitions, because yeah, it would look really weird, you know, if I widen out the the thing the, the screen, you know, to block out the borders, only for it to pop right back into place when the transition was done. Anyway, that aside, I, I do have to ask. So this forged painting is just a picture of Sly. So is the game leading us to believe that they switched one of? Dimitri's real paintings with a picture of Sly, and they still got away with it? Yes. <laughs> I know, I know. No, it's it, a it, kin in a way, kinetic it... aesthetic. <laughs> the kinetic aesthetic. Yin, yin, yin. Also, something else I kind of want to bring mention to. Uh, so, we saw that, you know, Ryan pulled up the uh, the ga the uh, the gadget page where he, where he can uh, remap uh, the, the specific gadgets uh, to, to buttons. Um, but when that when that menu opens, like the music just completely stops, and th there's like no sound or music or anything. Am I the only one that finds that jarring? A little bit. Uh, uh I never honestly, I never really had a problem with that. Like I because feel like they in should, way, they, they could have added. It's kind of like it's kind of like um, if you were like to just pause the game or whatever. It's like yeah, when you pause the game, you know the music stops or whatever after making like a little sound effect of like. All the icons and such popping into place or whatever. Depends on the so game. Much... Like, I feel like they could have added some kind of little jingle, or maybe like the same music that's currently playing, but like maybe like 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 maybe like lo losing lo losing a bass or two, or like making it just much quieter. I, I could see I them playing. I, I, I could see them playing around with that, if only just because the soundtrack to the Sly games are just freaking great. So it's like, you know, yeah. like, don't don't interrupt the music. <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, it's like in cases like that, it's like, hey, I would not have mind if they pulled off, pulled something like that off. But at the same time, though, it's like, oh, tch, sli Sly, stop shaking! <laughs> I can't help it's, it. I'm it, so excited of it's, flubbing it, out this painting, it, it, man. It, it's that. It's just that pole. <laughs> it's ju it's just that pipe. Yes, <laughs> it's like the coldest pipe in the world. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, it, but yeah, in regards to like the music cutting out, you know, like when you're going through your gadgets, it's like, again, I would I would not have minded if they took a direction where they're still playing music just a bit quietly, but again, at the same time, I still never really found it that big of an issue, really. That's just me though. So we're gonna take the air vent that leads from the inside of this room to Dimitri's office. By bre by breaking the cover of the vent, yes. Again, whoever designed this, th the architecture of this place needs to be fired. Once again, all according to plan. <laughs> yeah. All thanks to Dentley the Birdle. <laughs> I love how these guys just can't look up. No. Well, I mean, actually. You say that, Danny, but like, um, I remember something that uh, Gaijin Goomba brought up in one of one of his many uh, ninja uh, 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 discussion videos. How it's actually very uncommon for people to look up or anything higher than ninety degrees. So, like, generally, whenever it comes to whenever it came to the ninjas hide like hiding, their most reliable air uh, like like place to go to avoid eyesight is up. Like even if they can like stick to the corner of a room, like a high corner of the room, like they they won't be found because no one ever thinks to look up. That's just that's not that's not just a lazy game thing. That's just that's that's real life. Yeah. No know. one looks up. It's like it's I mean, but it wasn't even like he was like hiding. He was just on the top of stairs. Again, it's still up. 
Besides Danny, do you really want them to be able to find you that easily? It's like, do well, you, you really want to deal with them more? For a stealth game? Yes! Give me the goddamn <laughs> challenge! It's a fucking stealth game! Hey guys, this is Ryan talking to you while I'm editing this video. Okay, so at this point during the recording, I don't know why, there is like a huge load of stuttering and skipping that at this point it seems to be rather impossible to fix. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw this disclaimer out there and not leave this part of the video with awkward silence. Oh, that being said, I would like to apologize in advance for a future pointless tangent that BJ goes into when we get into Murray's first mission. Yeah, it's kind of cringy to edit through. Oh, okay, it looks like the audio is about to resume normally, so uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, now I, re yeah, I remember. At least I have better memory than you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, BJ still- BJ, oh honestly, I'm even surprised you even remember that, considering you can't even remember anything, like, from the day before. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. You know, wow, fu funny you say- Okay, like, in between recordings, like, BJ was specifying that it's like, he re it's like, yeah, he remembers himself, but only, it's like, there's certain, like, a trigger words that tr that pop up his memory. <laughs> like, so the, like, the, what, like the one- uh, Alright. That is like, real quickly, what what is that a picture of? The, like the one that Dimitri had. What is that of? Oh man, you know what? I honestly could not tell you. Um, yeah, I don't, think, it, I don't think you ever get a good shot of it. Wouldn't it yeah. be some shit if it actually was a picture of Sly? So it wasn't it, it wasn't them replacing a like a picture of Sly with the fraud just to be a dick. They it really was just a picture of Sly they were replacing with the with a fraud picture of Sly. I don't like this cheesy macaroni Sly Cooper. Well, there's the vault, there's the vault. But god damn, do I respect him. Yeah, it's like, it's, even now you can't even get a good shot. Yeah. I'm gonna assume it was one of, like, Dimitri's, like, very poorly done paintings. Like, from we saw for the cutscene. Oh no, you know what it is? I think I can kind of see it. It's a pic- Yeah, I can see it! It's a picture of the, um... Fuck, what the hell is that picture- that, that painting called? Like, the kind of- The one with the- with, like, the guy on his hands on his face going, Ooh! Oh, I know what you're talking about. God, yeah, I, know, I think that's I what it was. The name, I forgot the name of the painting, but I think I know exactly what you're talking about. About the screen? I think it... Yes. <laughs> yeah, also, Ryan, you, you said before that we only got new moves from this save. That, 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 the, the knockout dive, that was the move that you had to unlock in the last game, too. Well, 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 no, well, I didn't... Well, I mean, like, I, I didn't specify that it's like all there were new moves. I mean, I mean, I mean, we did talk, say like Sly still remembers. Still, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know what that sound was, but it scared the living shit out of me. I thought it was something within the video. Like, what the fuck happened with the video? That was Danny. <laughs> I am eating crackers. Danny being unprofessional and eating during our commentaries. No, hey, well, hey, if, let's, if you, hey, if listen, you want me to starve and die, then okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like to It'll be, make to a be, lot it's like of people happy. It's like it's like to be fair. I I've eaten during recordings, so so it's like I'm. So depending on how I am, I'm kind of on the same boat with Danny. Really, you're both fired. <laughs> that's like I. I uh, how no, about, it's like, it's uh, like how I about said. No. If you want me to not eat and die, then that's okay. It'll make a lot. You of can people, wait twenty minutes. <laughs> it'll make a lot of people happy. Emo, emo Danny confirmed. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Anyway, a anyway. All right, so 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 yes, thanks. Yes, thank God that I was able to get to the safe house safely. You know, without having to worry. You know, about taking any damage and losing the painting. Otherwise, that would have that would have been a serious loss of points. You know, wouldn't it be some shit if you tried selling the painting, but that painting also happened to be a fraud? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> like, like Dimitri actually like bought like a fake painting initially. Oh so really, no nothing of value was lost when you switched the paintings. <laughs> I always want to think ahead, <laughs> or something. I don't know. So I noticed you're getting all. I, I forget. Was it mainly slime missions that you had to do first before you could move to Bentley and Murray, or it's are you just getting all the slime missions? It's mostly slime missions, Sorry. and I think like um, as you go through missions, more will unlock as you go. 
Okay. Well, it's like it's like funny you funny you say that because with this mission, after we beat this next mission, that's when we when we can officially unlock our first Murray mission. Coast is clear for and then and then and then the next and then once we're done with like the next slime mission, um, we'll be able to unlock a Bentley's first mission. Oh wait, that's right. This this mission, the one the one where Sly has to play Ding Dong Ditch. Shit! 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 Ah, fucking kids! <laughs> ah. I love that the music that plays. I I, I also love how <laughs> it's like it's I it's just so goddamn funny. I also love how when he opens the door to his little boat shack there, like smoke all starts pouring out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? There's probably a, a reason why Dimitri doesn't actually have his air vents in the right places. He probably doesn't actually like like actual ventilation. He probably he probably likes being surrounded in smoke and shit. <laughs> I can't let all of my good stuff flow out of here, man. Wait! No, 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 you know what? I just thought of something. That makes- it makes- it makes sense, considering that Dimitri's a lizard. Lizards love heat, so there's actually a reason why his place is- his, his, his place isn't well ventilated. He loves it being hot in there. Oh. It all came full circle. It actually makes sense. <laughs> huh. Dimitri likes his areas hot, although I can't say the same for the guards. <laughs> yeah, the guards just have to deal with it, unfortunately. It's like, why does it? Hmm. Why does it smell like bacon in here? Actually, what kind? What kind of lizard is Dimitri? Like, is that ever specified? Oh man, I. It's like I, I'm gonna assume is like considering like the beard that he has going on. I'm gonna assume it's like a like an iguana or something. We'll have to double check that. That, ma that makes sense. Yeah. Like, he, he, has, he has like spines in his tail, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he, so he might be some kind of iguana. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure you'll add that in post. Right. I like how he actually creates like a whirlwind of smoke when he turns around like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice attention to detail. A little, a little twister of smoke. Yeah, yeah and, because, and, because and, he's, and, and, he's and, constantly smoking. And, and I even love like when when you're tailing. I I love tailing Dimitri if only because all the little lines that he says like as he's walking. You know, it's a good thing that Dimitri's going right to where exactly where you, you need him to go. Because when if Dimitri left and just like what got sidetracked, like when if when if he took, like when if he's like went to go like, do his groceries or some shit, like <laughs> you'd be sitting in one spot forever. It's like uh, come on, like your hideout. M m made a stop. M made a stop to the hooker house first. Wait a second. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> on my tail. Oh no! Aye, damn, aye, aye. No, damn it, Ryan! You, you know, you know. Wait, you should have a superimposed there. Uh, the sound effect that, uh, the sound that Big makes whenever his tail gets caught in Sonic Adventure DX. In, oh, the, in, the, in the elevator. <laughs> and, a, oh. and, yeah, and a blood splatter. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ow. Oh. oh my god. That was definitely one of, my, one of my favorite little edits that they made in Sonic Adventure DX compared to the original. That was... Big saying "ow" whenever he uses an elevator because his tail clips through the doors is like, like that was something they added for DX. That was I don't think that was in the original. Huh? Yeah, I, I could believe that. <laughs> I say that because I am I am. It's like seeing as how I never owned a Dreamcast, I never played Sonic Adventure for the for the Dreamcast. Hell, I didn't get fully into the Sonic series until I got my hands on Sonic Adventure Two Battle. Until then, I got the uh, Sonic Adventure DX. But no, I was like, no, I, I can believe that. Yeah, well, now we got Murray. Yes, now we could finally play as the Brawn. And his flaming fists of flame. <laughs> redundant, redundancy of redundant. That literally murder people. They burn right before his very eyes and hands. So I gotta ask, how, how does the, uh, like, th there's the move meter that, that you know, limits your conception of special attacks. What, yes. refill, what refills that? Um, at, 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 okay, at, um, at certain, like, every once in a while, if you, when you knock out enemies, aside from getting, like, a little thing of coins, they, like, those little, like, um, little red crosses pop up. Like, not only do the red crosses replenish your health, yes, they also replenish your special meter. That's interesting, and, uh, huh. Okay. Murray, he's like, Murray, you're a hippo. This shouldn't worry you. <laughs> well, you see, okay, that's what I've always... Okay, you bring that up. That's always the one thing that's confused me the most. I kind of get it that Sly can't swim. Ra no, raccoons really aren't known that much for Table swimming. flip! But a turtle and a hippo that can't swim. 
that's kind of odd. Yeah. Yeah. This is like Bentley is a tur like, Bentley is a turtle. He's, he's not a tortoise. Turtles can swim. So it's like, why can't those two swim? Right. Like that, that was always such an odd detail to me. Speaking of detail, yeah, I do but, like how, um, you know, depending on who you're playing, like, you know, the Binakukam actually changes design. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like everyone has their own personal little Binakukam. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, they real they could have easily just done the, you know, the simple recolor bullshit, but no, they actually did. They actually made the visors and shit different between, like, Sly and Murray. Yeah, and Bentley, too. And, like, and then, and they really capitalize that in, like, in, like future games, too. Yeah. Now, this I actually don't get. Like, I guess those lasers only respond to organic matter because you can just throw ice through them and they, it won't it won't set them off. Like, aren't the point of those lasers to be set off if anything disrupts them? Yeah, it's like, uh, hmm. <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Just because you're I mean, throwing... Like, I can only imagine the late... Okay, it's like... I, okay, I don't think it will apply with, like, if you were to throw, like, random objects, like chairs or barrels. But for the ice, however, it's like, you're dealing with lasers that can burn you. It's like... It's like, I'm sure it's like, if you try to take, like, a thing of ice and try to put it over your head and try walking through it, it's like... Yeah, even yeah, even though it's nowhere... You're not holding onto the ice nearly as fast as, like, when you throw it. I'm sure the heat from the laser will just burn, like, well, right that's, that's through a, the ice. That's not the point. The point is, those lasers are supposed to sound an alarm when anything disrupts them. It doesn't matter well, It doesn't matter if, if ice or inanimate objects won't get hurt by them. The fact is, they're still passing through them. Well, well, in, the, well in this case, however, it's... Well, in this case, however, it's like, those lasers in particular, they're not like the lasers in Sly 1, where it's like, you go through them once... And it sounds the alarm and they turn red or whatever. No, with those yellow lasers there, you try going through them, they'll still burn you, like, right on the spot. Okay, but why are it an... <laughs> My point still stands. Why do an an inanimate objects ignore that shit? Hell, you just threw that guard in there and he burnt to death. Why do inanimate objects ignore it? <laughs> it's like, I don't... It's like, I, I don't know. Because there is no blood to spill. I, I guess... I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like, regardless of such, the only way to shut off the, it, regardless, the only way to shut off those lasers and for Murray to pass is to, is to break them th by throwing in the in inanimate objects. I, I get it, the it, concept, it, but like, it, like, contextually, it, it doesn't make sense. It's like, re it's like, regardless, you can't go through there until you break those generators, so it's like, so what? <laughs> also, I have to ask, so, like, okay, so I... I always found this curious for this mission specifically. In this mission, you, you got to throw enough a number of guards into into that machine there to break it down, right? Yes. So the guards will just keep spawning no matter what, correct? Yeah, which is exactly what I'm exploiting. Oh, okay. You're doing exactly what I. Th you, you, okay, so you're doing exactly what I was thinking about. You just grinding money here. Gotcha. Yeah, you. Yeah, I am literally. I am literally like having enemies spawn. Just so that I can not only take them out and accumulate a crap load of coins. Granted, it took it takes a while to do so, but when I feel like I've got like a bit over a thousand coins, it's like okay, I'm good. Now I can do what I'm supposed to do with this mission and just destroy this water this uh, water machine and Whatever. murder more and murder more guards while, while at it. Oh yeah. This oh, is why I put on the the red gloves to hide the blood on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> You may be wondering why the red gloves. So, well, that's so bad guys can't see my hands bleed. That guy is the right idea. He wore the brown pants. Oh man! All right. Well, there you go. We got <laughs> we 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 uh we but we bugged Dimitri's office. We um we we followed Dimitri into his hideout, which led to Murray destroying the aqua pump. And now, for the, I believe, like, the last set of missions that we gotta take care of in the Black Chateau before we pull off the big heist for the area. Gotta say, Bentley really missed his true calling as a, a, as a football play coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, more, alright. Sly, you'll hike the ball over to Murray. No, no way. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Alright, Sly, you hike the football- you throw the football to me, while Murray provides protective use as I'm going from point A to point B.
I also love and Mori keeps he's like, I also love like the little weird little designs and shit that he does. Like he just like X'd out the eyes. Like he does like random doodles every now and again. Yeah, he yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, he does funny little doodles like for certain slides or whatever. No, it, it, it's it's great. I love it. All right. So join us next time for the next uh, part of slide 2 where a memory serves. The next mission is where we are properly introduced to the concept of pickpocketing so that we can take down a security system around the printing press room. We will see you guys then. Oh, <laughs>